Lionel Messi is now at Inter Miami, and there's been a lot of discussion around whether Messi is just that good at soccer, or if the MLS competition is really just not that great. I wanted to do a film study on his first full game for Inter Miami to show you why Messi is just actually really, really good at soccer. Messi starts the first 8 minutes of this game not touching the ball once. It comes around the 9-10 to 10 minute mark when Messi first picks up the ball, takes a few touches, and immediately sends his teammate in behind. Unfortunately, the goalkeeper gets to the ball first, but this is kind of a little bit of a taste of what you'll see from Lionel Messi at Inter Miami. Even when he was at Barcelona and PSG, you'll see Messi walking around a ton. Messi does this for a few reasons. One of the reasons is to conserve his energy, to make his sprinting runs in behind when he knows he's going to have a clear-cut chance on goal. There's no reason for him to be wasting his legs, running and jogging after the ball defensively when he is so good offensively that he can just save himself for the moments where he knows he can score a goal. Another reason is that Messi is really good at understanding, walking around, and reading the game. You'll see him sometimes go a couple minutes without touching the ball, but immediately as soon as he gets on the ball, he'll create something for his teammates or for himself just like he does here. Then immediately the next time he gets on the ball, Messi is in behind after an over the top through ball from Sergio Busquets and he puts it away with an easy finish. And if we take a closer look at the goal, Messi sneakily puts himself in an onside position. You can see that the other striker, Joseph Martinez, is occupying the other center back and the left back. They're trying to keep Joseph Martinez onside while the other center back and the right back are trying to keep Lionel Messi offsides by stepping forward. It's this little miscommunication from the Atlanta United side that Messi takes advantage of and immediately finds himself in behind with tons of free space. Of course, there also has to be a good through ball from his teammate Sergio Busquets, who is also a great player within himself. But Messi recognizes this weakness and he is immediately in behind and he scores their first goal of the game. And a few minutes later, you could see Messi kind of doing the exact same thing. Joseph Martinez has moved over to the left side and he is now occupying the right center back and the right back. They're stepping up with Joseph Martinez because they don't want him to receive the ball in behind in an onside position. And this is where we see the left back and the left center back again on a different page from the right center back and the right back. And Messi is able to sneak on sides and give a good through ball to Josef Martinez who takes a good shot but isn't able to do anything spectacular with it. The next Messi action we'll look at is when he drops into the midfield. So Messi plays as an attacker. But he's very much a creative player who likes to drop into the midfield, you know, receive the ball with space around him. If you give Messi or someone like Sergio Busquets time on the ball, it's kind of like in the NFL giving Tom Brady a ton of time in the pocket. If you give them enough time to create, they're going to find the right pass in behind. And giving Messi even a little bit of time, he can pick his head up and find his teammate in behind with another through ball, similar to the one we saw initially. He obviously recognized that this is a through ball that he's going to have a ton of success using and that his teammate is always going to be looking to make that run in behind and that he's going to be looking to find him. Of course, Messi's next action is the second goal of the game. You can see Messi keeping close control of the ball while he's dribbling down the field. The center backs aren't stepping to him and one of the midfield is trying to drop in because they're trying to catch up to Messi and apply pressure on him. Messi keeps the ball close, dribbles it down the field. And where we really see his brilliance is once Messi gets close enough to goal, you'll notice that he plays his teammate in behind as soon as the defender flips his hips. This leaves the defender in a vulnerable position and he's going to be a little bit delayed to get out to that left back and he has enough time to put in a cross. That's where Messi makes his back post run and finishes it in the corner with the easiest finish you'll ever see. Now there were a couple reasons Messi was able to get such an easy finish here. The first is Joseph Martinez's run near post. Having such a good striker like Josef Martinez, once the best striker in the MLS, make near post runs to fake out the defenders is extremely important and this really helps Messi in this situation. Another part is the holding midfielder. You can see Messi making this run and the holding midfielder, he's kind of out of gas and he's not able to track Messi into the box. But this is a run that Messi has made his entire career and he finds himself in the perfect space and he's able to put it in the bottom corner with one of the easiest finishes you'll ever see. Moving forward a little bit, the next time Messi picks up the ball, he's again dropping deeper into the midfield and you can see he's receiving with tons of time and tons of space. You can see the right back Yedlin trying to make a run in behind and Messi has so much time, he realizes the run is on, the defender is in the wrong position and Yedlin the right back has a ton of space and he has a ton of speed so he sets him in behind. It's already well known that Messi's technical skills are incredible, the quality on the through ball is really perfectly weighted to meet Yedlin's feet where he needs it. And then in the next clip, you can see Messi just kind of toying with defenders because his control is so much better than the other players in the league. 
The other players in the league don't have bad control. It's just that Messi is probably the best in the world when it comes to keeping that close control. This next clip is actually Messi in an offsides position, but it kind of shows what I was talking about when he's walking around the field saving his energy. So Messi just sees his teammate Sergio Busquets with the ball, and he notices an opportunity for him to play him over the top in behind the defensive line. Messi goes full sprint behind the defensive line, trying to get the over-the-top through ball while staying on side at the same time. Fortunately, he doesn't, but you can just see, I mean, look at this absolutely perfect touch that Messi takes from the over-the-top through ball, which allows him to get a shot on target. Unfortunately, the shot isn't great either, but there really isn't many players in the league that are able to take a touch like that from such a hard pass, get control, and take a nice shot on target. In the third goal of the match, Messi's close control enables him to keep the ball in the scenario, you know, wait for a passing lane to open up, and he switches the play across where his teammates are able to put some nice play together for the next goal. Now this goal really isn't Messi's fault, but it kind of just shows, you know, his control is really, really good, and it draws the defenders into him when he has possession because they know how dangerous he can be. In this clip, Messi doesn't even get the ball to his teammate, but you can just see how incredible Messi's vision is when he does have the ball. He has some of the best vision that we've ever seen from a soccer player, and you can see that he knows where the ball is going to go and where his teammate is going to be making that run once he receives it. He can already tell where the free space is and where the free man is going to be. He just makes poor execution on the ball and unfortunately doesn't get through. The fourth goal of the game comes with Messi receiving the ball in time and space on a counterattack with his teammate. He has three Atlanta United defenders following him towards their goal, and he's keeping close control and is extremely calm the entire time. Once he gets deep enough down the field, you can see that Messi waits for the defender to hesitate or to make a move towards him before he releases the ball to his teammate who is able to get a free shot on goal. Messi recognizes when he needs to keep the ball and how calm he needs to stay on the ball, and he plays his teammate at just the right time for him to get a shot off and get another goal for Inter Miami. Another thing that this counterattack goal really emphasizes about Messi is his ability to scan and recognize where everyone is on the field. You can see when Messi first receives the ball, he's constantly looking around his shoulders, identifying where the defenders are and where his teammates are. This allows him to sprint down the field knowing that he doesn't have a man close behind him and he knows where the defenders are, so he stays calm on the ball and runs it down the field. You will constantly see Messi looking over his shoulders, scanning the field for the players to know where the players like to stay, who they like to mark, and get a general sense of the opposition and of his own team. This is something that he does frequently when he walks around the field, but also something that when he's about to receive, he is constantly scanning for where to take the ball, who to pass to, and who's going to be open once he receives it. Again, Messi isn't just great offensively, he's also great at progressing the ball through the midfield. It's actually one of his best traits that you'll see is Messi dropping into the midfield, you know, receiving and finding the man that's going to be able to beat the opposition's team press. Here you see he beats the Atlanta United press by getting the ball in midfield, keeping close control, and then finding the free man who's able to progress the ball forward down the field. This isn't really making an attack, it's more just progressing the ball out of this Atlanta United pressure and down the field towards their goal. In this last Messi highlight, we see a similar theme to one of the through balls he made in the first half. You can see when Messi recognizes that the two players to his left have committed and have moved towards the center of the goal, which leaves a perfect opportunity for him to play his teammate in behind. So that was Messi's first full game at Inter Miami, an absolute slaughter of Atlanta United with Messi having a hand in three out of the four goals for them. Now this was a League Cup game and Atlanta United hasn't looked the best as of recently, but it just shows how good Messi is compared to this MLS opposition. They didn't really have an answer for him and it's going to be interesting to see how the rest of the teams tackle it because it seems like Messi had a lot of time and space on the ball and teams are going to want to limit that. But I hope this game showed just how good Lionel Messi is and that maybe the MLS isn't that bad, it's just Lionel Messi being that good.